On Sunday evening in Waukesha, Wisconsin, a driver plunged into a holiday parade, killing five people and injuring more than 40 others. Former FBI agents Clint Watts and Frank Figluizzi agreed that there was something different about the Waukesha mass casualty event than previous incidents. Here's a look at their discussion on MSNBC. The driver, I've not seen anything quite like that. It was a very unusual video and having looked at other terrorist attacks, which were vehicle borne attacks, um, they're quite different. I, I am, I'm a little bit confused as to what to make of it. Uh, the driver in some places seemed to deliberately uh, uh, mow over people and other places seemed to dodge them. So I think there's a lot to, to learn on this case, to be honest, and I, and I don't think we should probably jump to any conclusions right at the outset because it is very strange. If you've watched any of the video and there's a lot of it online, I would not encourage people to watch it because it is pretty traumatic. It's a very strange incident that's gone on in the city. Uh, it seems like police were on it. As you, as you can see in the footage that you've been showing there, police were very much aware of it. So this was a, a, a location that had a large and strong law enforcement presence. I think this is going to be one of the stranger ones we've ever heard in just a tragic scenario. What exactly makes this strange, this incident? Well, for example, in that scene, I'm, I'm just going to use a few reference points. Uh, you might remember back to Barcelona, uh, Spain, we actually had an attack in, in New York City. If you remember on the West Side Highway a few years ago, mm -hmm. it, usually during a vehicle borne attack, which is, uh, you know, casually producing, if the goal is to produce lots of casualties, they wouldn't just stop it and only hit one person. And what's odd in the video is at times the vehicle seems to be hitting and colliding with people, uh, apparently deliberately. Other times they are not. Uh, that is unusual uh, compared to other videos that I've seen. Uh, it's also strange in terms of the circumstances with the barricades. There was a, a heavy law enforcement presence, so this was known, right? They knew there was a parade there. They knew there would be law enforcement there. A lot of the other vehicle-borne attacks actually do the reverse. They actually seek out places, like in Barcelona, where they know there is no law enforcement presence so they can inflict the most damage. So is this a symbolic event that's specific to the driver? Uh, you know, is this related to other criminal activity that maybe we just don't know about? I just think there's a lot of confusing things when I watch the video that don't match what I've seen from other vehicle-borne attacks on, uh, you know, places of high population density, like the West Side Highway, for example. A Wisconsin father, Corey Montijo, says he made brief eye contact with the man who drove his SUV into the Christmas parade and said when he caught a glimpse of the driver, he appeared calm and composed as he plowed into the crowd, reported the Washington Post. Montijo's daughter participated in the parade with her dance team, and while she was luckily not injured, several of her team members were struck by the SUV, and he said many of those girls were hospitalized in critical condition. This morning, the insider reported that unnamed law enforcement sources told NBC Chicago the driver may have been fleeing a knife fight. The sources said the driver may have what the report called a significant criminal history. Little information emerged about the driver in the hours following the parade. Police said they had detained a person of interest, whom they did not name, as well as a vehicle. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, please like and subscribe and join others who like their news raw too.